Hello Year 8, welcome back to our second session on Stone Cold. Um, so let's have a quick recap on the character and the first character obviously being the main character, Link, who is the young boy who has um, left home due to his uh, relationship with his dad breaking down, his stepdad and his mum. We have the character of Joan, the mum, who um, is a bit lonely and doesn't support Link in any, ma any way. Carol, the older sister, who has moved out, so Link doesn't have any support from her. And of course, we have the rude Vince, who doesn't like Vince or anybody um, and is a bit lazy. So we've met those four characters. And from the, um, the extracts that you have watched already of the play, you will have been introduced to another character called Shelter. OK, so this is one of the monologues from the character of Shelter. Prospect of a very prosperous winter. Charing Cross was full of them. I'm only 17. Help me, please. I'll help, all right. 29 years I fought for the likes of them. And what thanks did I get? Time to introduce Mr Shelter. The warm-hearted, next-door type, spending all of his time helping the miserable little so-and-sos that are too useless to help themselves. Won't have to sleep in doorways soon, will they? I got the perfect place here if they're lucky enough to be recruited. So, the character of Shelter. Uh, he was once in the army and he got discharged due to mental health reasons. He wants to uh, clean up the streets of London, hence why he lures them back to his house with um, warmth and a bath and some food. He then kills them. He then dresses them in army uniform and then buries them under the floorboards in his house. So this play does have a very strange twist of events in it, very dark. So the first thing that I'd like you to do is to watch episode two, parts one, two and three of the play. Um, they should run into each other just like they did last time. And I have put the links in the web page uh, for you as well. So have a look at the second part of um, the second episode of Stone Cold. The second task that I would like you to do is I would like you to write a short script for any scene uh, between any of the characters. So you might have a scene between Link at home with his family. Uh, you might have a Link talking with Gail, the undercover reporter. You might have a scene between Shelter and Link. You might have a scene between two homeless people. OK, so any scene, use inspiration from the clips that you've watched, any scene that you would like. So um, remember, the script conventions, character names down the side, stage directions written in italics or brackets, and the directs from the character, so what the character is actually saying. Think about the context, the time of day, personalities of the character, where the scene takes place. Is it in a cafe? Are they sat down either side? Um, sharing some food? Are they walking down the street? Is it night time? Is it cold? All these um, elements will help um, with your dialogue as well because they can be talking about these things. Um, and when you hand in your script, um, I will look at them all and this will inform a kind of dirt task for our session three next time. So here is an example. Link and Carol are sat on the couch watching TV. <laughs> Link, I love this programme. It's great. I like watching it with you. Oh, thanks. You are the sweetest brother ever. Link. How's work going? Carol. All right. Could be better. Not sure I want to stay at the shop much longer. Vince strolls in and snatches the remote control from Link. You aren't watching this rubbish, are you? I've been at work. It's my turn. Link. Hey, you can't do that. It's not fair. We were watching that. Vince pushes Link off the couch and sits next to Carol. Link sits on the floor. Carol. Vince, don't be so mean. Vince shouting to the other room. Joan, fetch me a drink, will ya? Joan enters with a cup of tea and a packet of biscuits. Joan, here you go, share them out. Link, yeah right, I'd be lucky. Never shares anything. Vince, what did you just say? So it's a very clear scene and you can see the relationship between all the characters. Um, uh, here's another one between Shelter and Tom. Tom being a homeless boy. So in the doorway, and he's sitting on the floor, shelter. 
What's the matter, mate? Who are you? They call me Shelter. How about you? What do you care? Maybe I can help. I run a hostel for people like you, although we are full tonight, sadly. Not much help, are you then? Has anything happened to you? What do you mean? Crouches down next to him. Your eye, it looks sore. Are you a copper? I told you, I run a homeless shelter. As it is full, come back to mine and have a bowl of hot soup and then be on your way. Maybe. Come on then. Okay, so this is another script um, between Shelter and Debs. So Debs is coming out of a hotel, Shelter is hanging around. Excuse me. Yes? Hotel security. We have had a series of thefts of late and we have been watching you. I didn't take anything. I just went to use the bathroom. Honest. This way, please. He drags her back to the hotel. Look, I'm in enough trouble as it is. No home, no money, no job. Please let me go. Nasty night tonight, isn't it? I bet you'd like to spend it in a nice warm place instead. Struggling to get free. Leave it out, weirdo. Just a thought. If you did, then I might let you off the hook and not report you for stealing. Please let me go. You'll never see me again. Nice try, love. But I'll just have to take you to the police myself. I said no, not the police. So you can see from these two scenes how Shelter lures his victims back in very different ways. With females, Debs, he threatens her. Um, it's really overpowering. Whereas with Tom, he's a little bit more laddy, a little bit more chummy. Are you all right? Type of thing. He lures them back very different ways. OK, then, to recap, after you've watched episode two, parts one, two and three, you're to write a short script for any scene uh, with any of the characters that you have come across so far. OK, using some of the examples that I've given you as inspiration. Um, I look forward to reading your scripts um, and uh, stay safe and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.